Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to the session for IBPS Clerk Prelims 2018, and uh, as a part of reasoning uh, preparation, today we'll be discussing the topic of coding and decoding. So, de coding and decoding is one of those topics which you'll see almost in every uh, prelims examination in the reasoning section. If you look at the total of 35 questions which come from reasoning, you'll see that around four to five questions are from coding and decoding. So, it's an important topic and uh, we will be covering range of questions today keeping in mind the latest difficulty level of the examination in the clerk paper ok. So, we will be discussing what is coding decoding and uh, what are the key questions from exam point of view. So, I will be covering mainly two types of questions for you one is the shift based coding technique and one is the sentence coding technique here. Yeah? So, these two coding techniques are mainly coming in exams nowadays right. So, uh, that will be the main goal of the class today understanding coding decoding concept and some of the important questions from the examination. Now, the uh, the flow of the class will be based on discussion of problems. So, we will be developing concepts, building concepts through the help of flow of questions in the class. Now, let us look at a previous session CPP question. What will come in place of the question mark in this particular grid? Now, this is based on your alphabet letter coding, uh, alphabet and letter questions. So, alphabet reasoning class. So, alphabet reasoning and this was from the fourth session, session number 4 of alphabet reasoning that is based on grid and diagram based question. Now, uh, the answer is A. Now, here we have you see if you look at C and R and if you look at the positional value of C and R. So, what is the positional value of C? So, if you see uh, if you from A going clockwise we get C, when you go A to C that is A plus 2 and from C when we go to F, we are going to go plus 3. So, plus 3 D E F and from F we get J when we go plus 4. So, plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and from Y we are going anti clockwise. So, y minus 2 is equal to v. So, that is how we get v, y minus 2 and from v when we go minus 4 we get r minus 2 minus 4 clear. So, a minus 2 you see here from it starts from a itself a minus 2 is y, y minus 3 is v, v minus 4 is r and from r when we go minus 5 then we will get m. So, what should come here? m should come. This is the logic used in this question from a we are going clockwise and from a we are going anti clockwise. The starting point is a. So, from a we go clockwise plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and then from a we go anti clockwise minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 to get the value of m. That is why the answer for this question is uh, not A, this is C. The correct answer is C, that is M. All right. So, this is a question from the previous uh, CPP. Now, let us look at the coding decoding topic. So, first let us understand the meaning of coding and decoding. So, you take a word like money and you transform this word into something which is not recognizable as the original word. So, transforming a word into something new, something that only you can understand or the person who knows the coding technique can understand clear. Yeah. This transformation of the word money into its code N1505Z is what is called as coding and when you want to convert the code into its original word then that is called as decoding. So, first of all let us see what technique has been used here in this particular example that I have given to you. The first letter of money is M. And when you do m plus 1, so you get n. So, you can see here m plus 1 we are doing. So, m plus 1, so m plus 1 is n. Now, the letter o is there, and o the positional value of o is 15, so that is 15. Now, the third letter is n, n plus 1 gives you o. The positional value of e is 5, so that gives us 5 here. And then y plus 1 gives us z. So, that is the technique here starting from the first, third and fifth letter plus 1 and the second and fourth letter positional value should be taken. So, now once you have understood the technique of how the code was obtained, if you want to go back and find out what is the 
what does P 18 E 5 S stand for? So, P minus 1 we should do. So, we want to find the code because here we did plus 1. Now, you want to go back and find out the actual word. The logic we plus 1 karke code uh, kiya tha. So, code uh, ke liye, code nikalne ke liye, we plus 1 kiya tha. So, code ko ab hum convert karna chate hai. So, minus 1 karna padega. So, P minus 1 kya hai? N O P. So, O will be here. Okay. Now, this is 18th, which is the 18th letter of the English alphabet. So, answer is R. E minus 1 kya hoga? D. The fifth letter hai wo kaun sa hai? E. Or S minus 1 kya hai? R. So, what is P 18 E 5 S order? So, we have converted into order and this process is what is called as decoding. So, our job while solving questions in the examination is to make sure that we observe the question and find out the underlying coding technique. Once we have found out the underlying coding technique, it is all a matter of just applying the technique to convert and find the code of a given word or applying the technique to find out the given a word for a given code. Coding, changing a word to a code and decoding, converting back the code to the word. This is what is coding and decoding. Now, let us look at the, some of the questions here. Let us look at question number 1. If fear is coded as F F S F C G G C G S F C G. So, the word have okay, have fear. And how are we coding this word? S F C G. Okay. The word has been coded as S F C G. So, how did we get this code? What is the logic? Logic kya hai? That is what you have to find out. If you do not understand logic, you cannot find out the code. How will you code the word hope? But once you understand the logic, that is not difficult. You see here A is there and C is there. So, A and C, A plus 2 is C, A, B, C. So, plus 2. E is there and F is there and we know that E plus 1 is F. So, so beach ke toh letter hai, wo toh hume clearly malum chal gaya hai ki actually kya ho raha hai. E plus 1 F, A plus 2 C. What about the other letters? You see R plus 1 is how much? S, wo S yahaan pe hai, cross. And F plus 1 kya hai? G, wo G yahaan pe hai. That is the way the coding has been done. Okay. So, what is actually happening? This F and R we are doing cross coding and the E and A we are doing simple coding, but we are doing plus 1 for E and plus 2 for A. The same thing if we do for the word hope, H O P E. So, first look at the first letter H. If you do H plus 1, H I will be there this is i and if you do e plus 1 what you will get e plus 1 is f so f will come here now the middle letter o plus 1 o plus 1 is p and p plus 2 q r so what is the answer f p r F P R. If fear is coded as S F C G, then how will you code code hope? The answer is F P R I, and this is a good example of a coding decoding question. We will see some of the more advanced questions that can come from this topic. Let us look at this word orange and Q P C L I C, then what will be the code for mango? So we have orange O R. A N G E and in between we have Q P C L I C. Then what will be the code for the word mango? M A N G O. So, first we have to find out the logic. 
what is the logic used in the given question because if you do not do that how will you solve the question. So, let us look at the letters and the codes and try to figure out something. The one thing that is very clear is here A and C we can have a link between A and C, A plus 2 is C and uh, R and P, P Q are that is minus 2. O P Q that is plus 2, so yes the plus 2 minus 2 plus 2 and N minus 2 G plus 2 E minus 2. So, this is very simple plus 2 minus 2 coding. Each letter we are moving forward by 2, the first letter forward by 2, second letter backwards by 2. Moving plus 2 means going forward by 2 positions and minus 2 means going back by 2 positions. That is the coding used in this question. So, in mango, how will you code mango? So, m plus 2, first we will do that m plus 2, m n o, a minus 2. So, from a, how do you go 2 back? Before a comes z and before z comes y, so y. Now, from n we have to go plus 2, so n o p and from g we have to go minus 2, so minus 2 here, g f e, so e and o plus 2 again o p q, that is how you are going to do the coding here o y p e q, that is the code for mango plus 2, minus 2, plus 2, minus 2 and plus 2. So, going forward by 2 positions, coming back by 2 positions, again going forward by 2 positions, back by 2 positions and this goes on so that we can get the entire question then. So, once we understand the logic, the question is not difficult that is what is this is all about. Next look at this uh, word, in a certain code altered is written as U M B G E F S. How will related be written in that code? अगर altered को हम लिखते हैं U M B G E F S तो related को हम कैसे लिखेंगे? So okay, let's look at the word altered. This is the word altered and what is the code for altered? U M B G E F S G E F how can you find a link between these two words? Now, uh, A and B, you can see here A is there and B is there. So, this is the cross coding question. A plus 1 is B, T plus 1 is how much? U and L plus 1 is M. Similarly, here R plus 1 is S, D plus 1 is E and E plus 1 is F, so E plus 1 is F and the letter in the middle, the beach ka letter hai pe E, E plus 2 we are doing. This is what is called a cross coding question. The three letters on the left hand side we do a cross here and right hand side also we do cross and the middle letter we are shifting by two positions forward. So, this is one of the common types of questions nowadays from shifting where we have cross coding here we have done plus 1, plus 1, plus 1 throughout, we can do plus 1 on one side and minus 1 on the other side and we can use different ways of doing this to create a more difficult questions from the same uh, type. So, now if we look at the word related, how will related be written in that code? So, if you take the word related R E L A T E D, that is the word related. Now, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 letters. So, first let us look at R and R plus 1 will do. So, R plus 1 is equal to S, R S clear and L plus 1 is equal to M and E plus 1 is F. So, E F M F S. Next is A. So, A we are going to do plus 2. So, A, B, C clear. Now, T plus 1 is U 
d plus 1 is e and e plus 1 is f. So, what is your answer? Your answer is m f s c e f u. If altered is written as u m b g e f s then related will be written as m f s c e f u clear. So, this is a very important question based on shifting coding by shifting this is a cross coding question and it is important for you to understand and learn this particular type of question solving. Now, what we will do is we will look at the next question based on shifting. So, we have again this example here if sector is coded as R T E R B N then the flower will be coded as what? Let me again write down the first word and its code here, so that we can observe the word and the code and find out the logic used. क्या logic क्या है वो सबसे पहले पता करना है आपको। तो sector यहाँ पे दिया हुआ है और जो code है उसका वो है R T E R B N so, once we understand the logic in this question, we can then find out the code for the word flower F L O W E R. We have a question may a key tracker technique may hota hai cross coding hai ye ab hota hai. So, aapko kafi careful rana hai ki you should not get uh, misled by the questions that you have done before and try out the trial and error methods and see what else what can be done. So, first of all you observe of the aapko koi word milta na to aap pehle dekhe ki jo letters hai S E C T O R kahi plus 1 minus 1 plus 2 minus 2 kahi pe hai kya. S plus 1 hota hai T T to hai yaha pe hai. E plus 1 hota hai F F kahi nahi hai. C plus 1 hota hai D D kahi nahi pe. T plus 1 U to plus 1 nahi work kar raha hai. Let us do minus 1 and C. S minus 1 R hota hai. R yaha pe hai. S minus 1 is R. E minus 1 is uh, D, D is not there, C minus 1 is B, B is there, R yaha pe bhi hai and uh, T minus 1 is S, S we do not have, O minus 1 is N, N is there. Now, if you see carefully we have R also, B also, N also and all these three are basically S minus 1 and if you see here C minus 1 एक लेटर स्किप करके C माइनस वन, फिर एक लेटर स्किप करके यहाँ पे O माइनस वन। अब कौन से लेटर्स बच गए यहाँ पे? R बच गया, T बच गया और E बच गया। तो ये R, T, E यहाँ पे फर्स्ट थ्री पोजीशन में चले गए। शिफ्टिंग भी हो रहा है, स्क्रैम्बलिंग भी। सम लेटर्स भी हैं शिफ्टिंग, सम लेटर्स भी हैं चेंजिंग देर प so, answer becomes R T E R B N. So, this is also one unique type of question from this particular topic. So, now if you take the word flower, how will you code the word flower? F L O W E R. So, we have total of 6 letters. So, F minus 1 should come here. What is F minus 1? E and O minus 1 should come here that is N and E minus 1 should come here which is D and the other three leftovers R, W, L should go in the first three positions. So, what is the answer then? R, W, L, E and D. If the word sector is coded as R, T, E, R, B, N then the word flower will be coded as R W L E N D and that is your answer. This is a good question very different from the previous examples and the other questions which you have seen in different books and materials. Okay. So, now we will see the previous session contest question that is from the session on alphabet and letter reasoning session 4 based on grids and diagrams. This is simply a puzzle based on letters and their properties find the odd one out answer in this question is A, A is the odd one out. Now, why is A the odd one out? Because if you take a horizontal reflection, we see here, 
if you take a horizontal reflection of these letters, then H will remain as it is. O will also not change because its horizontal image is same. X also if you take a horizontal image, X will not change. I will not change if you take an image here, this is a reflection. What I am doing here? So, reflection, but it is a horizontal reflection by putting the mirror on the x axis, taking the reflection. But if you take the reflection of A, A will become upside down. So, A is the only letter here which is changing when you take the horizontal reflection. So, sometimes in an advanced level, even these reflection, vertical reflection and horizontal reflection of letters can become a concept used inside a particular question. Okay? So, this is the answer for the previous session contest question. Now, let us look at the contest question for this session. If bad is coded as 11, good is coded as 16 and glad is coded as 14, then how will right be coded as? Three codes I have given to you, that means this requires an analogy, comparison should be required. If bad is coded as 11, good is coded as 16 and glad is coded as 14, then how will right be coded as? So, if you want to solve, you can solve the question and post the answer in the comment section. I will be discussing the solution of this question in my next reasoning class. Clear? Solve and post the answer in the comment section. Follow my next reasoning class to know how this question should actually be solved. Alright, now we will continue with the discussion for today's class and go to the next type of question in coding and that is sentence coding question. Now, this is most important here in the class, you can say here, most important topic because uh, nowadays from coding and decoding, primarily we are getting questions from sentence coding. The questions are in set, we have 4 to 5 questions, kafi modify bhi hua hai. Sentence coding, some modified version bhi dekhenge in RGK class mein. Aur agar aap prelims exam de rahe hai, IBPS clerk ka, to agar aap dekho ke 35 questions mein guaranteed 5 questions to sentence coding se honge. Yeah? That is how important this section has become nowadays. So, in a certain code lang coding language, for profit order now, so just first write down the uh, sentences for profit order now is coded as ho, ja, ye, ga. That is the quote. What does it mean? These words that you use are nonsensical words, words which have no meaning, gibberish language also we call it, clear? So, that is what is also called as using gibberish language for coding. So, we take actual words, change them with two letter codes which make no sense and then give you some three, four sentences and they coded sentences and then it is your job to find out which code represents which word. So, here is four word, for hai. Profit hai, order or now hai, char code bhi hai, how, ja, ye or ga, ho, ja, ye ga. So, is mein ho kis word ke liye represent karta hai, is ho for for, no, if that was the case then why would we ask a question, if there is no one, one, one to one correspondence between words and codes, then what is the point of asking the question. So, sirf ek sentence se hum ye pata nahi kar sakte hai, ki kis word ka kya code hai. Because we have a reference, so there are other sentences given here. Right now for him, so next sentence is. Right now for or him. And right now for him, the code is ga, ve, ja, अब हम कंपेयर कर सकते हैं क्योंकि फॉर पहले सेंटेंस में भी है और फॉर दूसरे सेंटेंस में भी है पर एक और वर्ड है जो रिपीट हो रहा है कौन सा वर्ड है नाउ नाउ भी पहले सेंटेंस में है और दूसरे सेंटेंस में है हम यहां ऐसे लिख सकते हैं कि फॉर और नाउ दो वर्ड्स हमें मिले हैं फॉर और नाउ 
अब अगर ये दो वर्ड्स रिपीट हो रहे हैं तो इनका कोड भी रिपीट होना चाहिए तो कौन सा कोड रिपीट हो रहा है यहाँ पे यू फोकस हियर जा इज रिपीटिंग एंड गा इज रिपीटिंग करेक्ट वी कैन से फॉर और नाउ कैन स्टैंड फॉर जा और गा राइट नाउ वी डोंट नो बिकॉज दे आर बोथ ऑफ दीज आर इक्वली लाइकली एंड वी हैव नो अदर रेफरेंस बट फ्रॉम दिस वी कैन ऑल्सो से in the first sentence then profit and order are left right here profit or order will stand for ho or ye that is clear now similarly abhi second sentence mein kya bach gaya right bach gaya aur him bach gaya so we can say right or him will stand for what what are the codes left v s e v e or s e so very simple just by observing the two sentences we have got this much information but we cannot right now find out the code for each word because we need some more information we need one more reference point for that one more sentence is given to you that is place order for profit If we take place order for profit, place order for profit, and what is the code for this? The code is ga b ho ye. Now this will help us in doing a lot of things. तो अभी यहां पे फॉर रिपीट हो रहा है नो वी हैड अ डाउट बिटवीन फॉर एंड नाउ थर्ड सेंटेंस नाउ नहीं है फॉर है तो जो भी कोड है जा और गा में जो भी थर्ड सेंटेंस में आएगा व्हिच एवर कम्स इन द थर्ड सेंटेंस विल बिकम द कोड फॉर फॉर सो व्हाट इज कमिंग हियर यू सी गा इज कमिंग हियर सो लेट मी टेक दिस कलर ऑफ द इंक हियर सो दैट मींस नाउ वी कैन से वेरी क्लियरली द फॉर इज गा एंड नाउ इज जा दो कोड तो मिल गए हमें एक है फॉर का कोड फॉर का कोड है गा और नाव का कोड है जा वॉट एल्स इज रिपीटिंग हमारा डाउट प्रॉफिट और ऑर्डर में भी था यहाँ पे प्रॉफिट भी है और ऑर्डर भी है प्रॉफिट ऑर्डर तो वी के नॉट क्रैक प्रॉफिट एंड ऑर्डर राइट नाउ वी नीड सम मोर इंफॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग इट राइट एंड हिम अभी भी हमारे पास इंफॉर्मेशन नहीं है But what we can say is that एक word है जो सिर्फ यहाँ पे है place. This word place is not there in the second sentence and it is not there in the first sentence. So there must be one code also which is unique to the third sentence. Clear? So what is that code? So we'll say now very clearly that place is definitely equal to bi. Okay? Place is definitely equal to bi. So right now we have already got three codes. We have got for which is ga. Now, which is ja and place equal to bi. A little bit more information and everything will be cracked here. Okay, so let's see what else we have. So we have one more sentence given to us, the fourth sentence, only in right order. Only in right order is written as ve do ye zo. So let me write here only. in right order is equal to ve do ye and zo clear now you see here what is repeating so we had a doubt between profit and order order is there in this sentence but profit is not there so between ho and ye whichever is there that will become the code for order so order is ye and that tells us that profit is ho also we have a doubt between right and him the the code for right is uh, ve or him is se so we have the word right here but him is not there we have ve here so that means right is ve and him is se six codes we have done and place is equal to bi seven codes we have got only in in we cannot find out because only an in can be do or zo only or in will be either equal to do or zo 
but we cannot solve because we have no other reference point for this. So we have find the code for all the words, we have found the code for 7 words and the possible code for the 2 words only and in that means do all those. So if you have followed the way I solved and approached this question, if you get a similar question in the examination, you will be able to solve that question also. Now in this sentence coding question type, one new type of question is there that is what we are going to see now and this is this new type of question is this is example 6 here this is very important so uh, you can uh, I have taken okay example 6 that is repeat page for the same thing okay so example 6 here this is very important for the IBPS prelims examination 2018 almost 80 to 90 percent chance that it can come in the examination. So, we will see it in a very simple way how to go about these questions and uh, let me change the color of the ink here alright. So, first of all you see here they are same thing we have sentences gifts, time, simple plan and we have codes but the codes are very unique here. We have symbols, we have letters, we have numbers. So, a very different type of coding technique is used. So, we have to figure out how and what is the method used ok. Let us look at this question here. First of all see why is it different from the previous question. So, gifts, time, simple, plan is coded as at E4 and N4 percentage S5 hash ok let us write here hash E6 ok. So, we have uh, 4 codes here at E4 and N4 ok. Now, we cannot find out the code for gifts, time, simple plan just by using this much. We will try to figure out something. There are three things here. One is the symbol. So, let me write here. One is the symbol, one is the letter, one is the number. If you look at the letters or numbers, let us first let us look at numbers. So, if it is number, it could be for the number of letters. You see here. How many letters are there in the word plan? 4, right here 4. How many letters are there in the word simple? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6. How many letters are there in the word time? 4. And how many letters are there in the word gifts? 5. 5, 4, 6, 4. Here again we see 5, 6, 4, 4. That means it is very clear now that these numbers represent the the words here the number the numbers here represent the number of letters in the word once you can crack that you can definitely say that gifts is equal to percent s s is there and the number 5 is there ok. Gifts is equal to percent S5. Now, also hash E6 simple is equal to hash E6. Two codes we have cracked. Now, what is left here is at E4 and ampersand N4. So, how do we find out because there are two words here time is also there and plan is also there. If you see observe carefully say this is more about attention to detail if you observe carefully you will see that n this is ending in n and this is ending in e. Now, here in between we have n and here we have e. So, letters can be based on starting ending And I have seen questions based on second letters also or the second letter of the word. So, these are the three things that can happen. 
the letter in the code can stand for the starting letter, ending letter or the second letter and uh, sometimes based on the first vowel also, these are different types of techniques that I have personally also used to create questions and I have seen in different papers. So, here now it is very clear that time is equal to at E4, time is equal to at E4 and uh, then we have a plan which is equal to ampersand n and 4. These 4 codes already we have cracked just from one sentence. That is the difference between this question and the previous question. So, although this question can look very different and unique and it will be very confusing for those who are seeing for the first time, once you understand this question actually it is easier than the previous question. Now, let us look at the second uh, code here. So, I will just do it directly over here itself. Tried scenario profit grant. So, how many letters are there in tried? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let me write down here 5. And uh, scenario 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 letters are there in scenario. Profit has got 6 letters and grant has got 5 letters. 5, 5, 6, 8. Since 5 is repeating, we will have to be a little bit more careful about finding out for 5 and scenario and profit are very easy then. So, we can say here that scenario, how many letters are there in the word scenario? 8. So, the code with 8 here is the code for scenario hash O 8 and profit is equal to 6 letters are there. So, ampersand T 6. Okay. Now, we have tried and grant the uh, letter here in tried and grant, tried is ending in D and grant in T. So, the one ending in D here, this is the code for tried, tried is equal to at D 5 and grant is equal to percent T 5. By now, it should be clear to you that there is some role of the symbols also. So, numbers we have understood, letters we have understood, what are the symbols doing? If you see here, grant is starting with percentage, gifts is also starting with percentage. Scenario is S and that is starting with hash, simple is also S starting with hash. That means, S is nothing but this hash. So, what does symbol represent? The starting letter. Symbols represent the starting letter of the word. Okay. So, S is hash. So, P is ampersand. T is at. G is percent. So, right now, we have seen G as T P and that is how we have cracked the code. Now, let us look at safe here S and we know S is hash, the code will be hash E4 and uh, so, so simple to crack the entire thing safe will be equal to hash E4. Now, print is starting with P, P is ampersand, ampersand is here. So, I do not have to, have to look at anything else, print is equal to uh, ampersand T5 and then so on the entire question can get solved and you will have no difficulty in solving this question. So, just look at the three things here. What are the three things? One is the symbol which represented the starting letter. The letter could be the starting letter in some question, the letter could be the ending letter in some questions, the letter could be the second letter in some questions, also the first vowel in some questions. Also, the number here represents the number of letters. Clear? So, observe the way this question was solved. Once you understand this question type, you can solve questions like these very easily in the examination. In these kind of questions, the code contains of symbols, letters and numbers. You have to figure out what each of these things stand for. All right. So, now is the time for the class practice pack from the topic of coding and decoding and I have selected 10 questions based on this topic. So, those who have passport access can start solving the questions once you have the sound. The question that most of you get wrong, I will be discussing in my next reasoning 
session. So best of luck to you and thank you for watching the video.